when Google released Notebook LM, it quietly changed how people thought about learning with AI. Instead of just asking questions, you could upload your own material and have the AI understand your context, your documents, and your intent. Now, Google is experimenting with something that feels like the next logical step. And honestly, this feels a lot like Notebook LM 2.0. This new experience is called Learn Your Way, and it lives at learnyourwaywithgoogle.com. On the surface, it looks simple, but once you start using it, you realize Google is testing something much deeper. This is not another AI course platform, and it's not just a chatbot that explains concept. It's an AI system designed to adapt to how you learn, what you already know, and what you're actually trying to understand. So let me explain what this actually is and why it matters. So let's get into it. At its core, Learn Your Way is about personalization, but not the kind where it just recommends content. This personalization is at the reasoning level. You tell the system what you want to learn, why you want to learn it, and how deep you want to go, and the AI shapes the learning experience around you. Instead of asking what topic do you want to learn, it is asking, how should this be taught to you? That difference sounds subtle, but it completely changes how the experience feels. The system is not trying to dump information on you, it's trying to build your understanding. This is where Learn Your Way starts to feel less like a software and more like a learning companion. And this is exactly why the Notebook LM comparison makes sense. Notebook LM was about grounding AI in your documents and your sources. It understood your files, and instead of pulling random information from the internet, it would use the data you give it. Learn Your Way feels like the same idea, but applied to the learner instead of the content. Instead of learning from PDFs, the AI is learning from you. It adapts to your mental mode, your background knowledge, and even the way you prefer concepts to be explained. That is a massive shift. This is not AI teaching everyone the same lesson. This is AI co-learning with you and adjusting as you go. Let me show you what this actually looks like in practice. All right, we're on learnyourway.com and you can see there are a bunch of examples that they have given here. So we have astronomy, biology, chemistry, computer science, and economics. So let's take a look at a couple of these. So let's start with economics. Let's say you want to learn about an overview of economic systems or micro or macroeconomics. So let's do economics and then we can choose what personalization do you want to explore? Middle schooler who likes soccer or a high schooler who likes movies? Let's do a middle schooler who likes soccer. So I'm gonna click on that. All right. So the PDF that it has is this, and this is probably like a textbook page or something like that. And then it has taken what we want to learn and made it as the interest is set to somebody that enjoys soccer and the grade level is at eight. So you can see, first thing it shows us is that it gives us an immersive text option. So introduction to economic systems and their organization. After reading section, you'll be able to compare traditional command and market economics, explain what GDP is, and understand how important globalization is. So it's explaining everything here. And you can see what it's trying to do is use language that would be understandable for someone in grade eight. And there's a bunch of information here, like traditional economy, what it is, and it's explaining with visual manner. Obviously, the source doesn't have all this information, right? It doesn't have these illustrations. It doesn't have all these data that is showing. And it's able to understand like, okay, this is somebody in grade eight. Let's use language that would resonate with them. And we also see that at the bottom over here. For example, if someone's trying to understand what a central authority is, it's using Egypt as an example for somebody that might be younger who loves, you know, learning about the ancient Egypt world and everything like that. You can also see over on the second page, it's trying to teach us about command, market, and mixed economics. And it's trying to teach us about the market economy, like demand and supply, which is basically the foundation of economics. And then over here, we have that is showing us that, okay, this is the soccer transfer market. There's a seller and a buyer. The value is based on their income and the player is the skill. So this is kind of using that soccer example to explain to somebody learning this, what it means in their terms, in their world. And if you're learning something for the first time, Having a reference point is obviously going to be very beneficial to you, right? So let's see if we can find another example. But over here as well, you can see that I introduced things like Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo to help people learn. Uh, if we continue, we can see more examples like that. Uh, the increase of globalization, we see all of that information here as well. But what's cool is that you don't only have the text format, you also have slides and narration. So if I click on this, it's going to generate something similar to how we're used to in Notebook LM, where it produces slides or narration that's going to teach you your concepts, but it's kind of learning the way you learn and making the slides like that. So our interest is obviously set to soccer. 
So when you go through these slides, you'll notice references to soccer and things like that. For example, on this page that's coming up, we see uh, example of Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, things like that. What a traditional economy is, command economy, market economy, things like that. And all of this is ex explained in a simple way that resonates with the person. Then you also have the audio lesson. So if I were to play this. Hello. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of economics. Have you ever wondered how a huge country manages to produce all the goods and services everyone needs? and how everyone's economic life is connected. Because tradition guides life so strongly. So you can see that's amazing. Like it's creating a mind map and it's also explaining all of this in a very simple and easy way to understand. If you're in grade eight, if you're learning about economics, this might be your place to be. And then we also have the mind map feature, which is again, similar to how Notebook LM has its feature. So we can see that there's some sort of thing that Google is working on that's taking the powers of Notebook LM and combining it with Learn Your Way to create a learning tool that will be really beneficial for people trying to learn new concepts and not just from sources or data like that. So let's go back to the home page. Let's take a look at another example and we'll do astronomy, earth and sky. Let's click on that. So what personalization do you want to explore? Let's do a high schooler who likes basketball. So once again, we have our immersive text here. Then we also have this question mark. And when you click on that question mark, it gives you a quiz. Like according to the text, why do astronomers use a coordinate system? So you kind of have that built-in learning tool as well with quizzes and things like that to test your knowledge. All right. One example here that you can see that is combining basketball and the astronomy section is here is that using a basketball as a reference and it's saying, imagine a transfer of basketball with its line, meridians painted on it, placed inside a much larger hollow sphere. And if we look at it, it's using the example of the basketball to explain how the earth is set up. And it's also showing like if a light is at the basketball center, the painted lines cast a shadow onto the larger sphere, which is supposed to be the reference point of earth. Then once again, if we go to slide and narration here, we have more examples of how earth and sky is intertwined with the basketball analogy. So we can go next. We also have another example here about somebody that wants to learn about what is sociology. And we can do somebody who likes music. So let's just do that. And you can see we have our immersive text here as well. And then we also have micro level, macro level sociology explained to somebody. But you can see how powerful this tool could be, especially for somebody that's trying to learn something new, something that they're not familiar with. And they have a reference point based on their preferences, based on their learning style, based on what they're used to. It can make a huge difference. So this is really amazing. And what we're also seeing right now is that there's actually good results backing that using tools like learn your way is helping people learn better on the left over here you're seeing the average scores of learners using learn your way versus somebody using a simple digital reader and you can see that they're scoring at least 77 percent on immediate assessment and digital readers are scoring 68 percent and then when it comes to retention which is probably more important we see that people are retaining the content 78% of it using Learn Your Way versus digital reader, they're only retaining 67% of the time. So this clearly shows that as Gemini progresses and tools like Learn Your Way are developed by Google, they're only gonna make people smarter and better at remembering and learning new concepts, which is a great tool to have. If you enjoyed this video, this is what we do here. Fast, clear updates on the biggest moves in AI. If you want to stay ahead of everything happening in this space, make sure you're subscribed. And if you want the hands-on side, demos, tools, workflows, and everything developers can actually build with, check out the world of AI. We also run a simple no-noise newsletter that gives you the most important AI tools and updates in just a couple of minutes. Subscribe here, follow World of AI, join the newsletter, and I'll see you in the next one.